watching Chef It Up. I'm your host, Diane Thea Smith. And of course, I'm in the IL TV studios in my kitchen once again, about to whip up an amazing, an amazing dish. You know this guy, he's been on the show before, Chef Horatio Smith, who tells me that today we're making shrimp scampi. You know that we love our shrimp. rather fancy. <laughs> <laughs> but you have, you have a little surprise to me before we start cooking, right? I do. We got a drink. I know. love gifts. We gotta have some, some, I figure, you know what, we're cooking with this wine, so why not get the, the show started with yes. a glass of wine, right? <laughs> this is gonna be my friend throughout the show today, okay? So, like you said, we're gonna be cooking with this, so why not drink it as we go along? Get our palate we, used to the flavor, exactly. right? Exactly. You know, I always tell clients and friends, if you're gonna cook with wine, you might as well drink it too. We're using a Chardonnay. And the reason why we chose this is because it's buttery yes. and it has great notes, it's fresh, it's flavorful. And so we're gonna, this is gonna be a good compliment to ah, our, our meal. You. Cheers to you. Cheers, thank <laughs> you. What a way to start the show, right? right. I love it. Awesome, so. All right, so what are we doing today? We're making shrimp scampi. And talk to me a little bit about that dish and what exactly that is. Shrimp and pasta. Well, shrimp, it's shrimp scampi. It's basically shrimp with some pasta. It's sauteed down with peppers and onions and, and a bit of um, tomatoes, garlic, mm. olive oil, of course. Um, the first thing we're going to get started is get our water boiling for the pasta. We're serving the shrimp with linguine. Nice. So why did you choose linguine? Um, well, Kendria loves pasta. <laughs> so I figured, let me go with her favorite. Mm. And that does the trick. You nice. Like the wine? I like the wine. It's not so dry. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that it's a little bit sweet. Like you say, a lot, a lot buttery. Yeah. And so that's great. A great summer wine. Nice. Because it gives, it goes really well with seafood. Mm. Super good with seafood. And so we got our water going here yeah. for our pasta. He says we're using linguine today. He says it's his wife's favorite. So <laughs> I'm gonna find out exactly why she loves this yes. pasta here today. Yes. I'm gonna put this right All here. Alrighty. So just water, we're not putting anything in this? Some salt. Okay, some salt. Some salt, I'll let you sprinkle. Ah, okay. I, I always say my hand is go super heavy. heavy. Go heavy, go oh, heavy. Don't tell me that because my hand heavy. Go heavy. You can go heavy on, on you can like, I would even, I take a big. Oh my God, that looks scary. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> I take a big pinch. <laughs> All right, so we put some salt in our water and that's yeah. gonna come to a boil. That's gonna come to a boil. So While that's boiling, we're gonna get started with our other items, the right. shrimp. And so let's start with some onions. Some onions here. Why do you like making this meal so much? Other than the fact that it's one of your wife's faves. <laughs> well, you know, a lot of times we're, sometimes we just get tired of the humdrum of yeah. regular, you know, regular Bahamian food. You want to try something different. Mm -hmm. um, how I add our Caribbean flavors to it with, is with fresh herbs. You know, I love cilantro. Yes. So I throw cilantro inside there and I throw some basil inside there. You know, obviously at the restaurant too, we have a fusion of French cuisine. Our owner, she's from France, so she's half French. And when he says the restaurant, he means Studio Cafe where he's the chef. Yes, <laughs> <right>. exactly. <laughs> so I try, I'm always trying to find cool ways to infuse different cultures mm -hmm. into, into our food. Yeah. So I just do some slices with my red onion. Nice. And this is a rather simple dish to make as well. It's literally just shrimp and pasta, like you said, with some herbs and that's some it. seasonings, and that's and it. And you can put in as anything that you want. Like I know some people don't like peppers, they like yeah. peppers, they like mushrooms, they don't like mushrooms. Put in what you like. Yeah. A lot of times we get so stuck. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, chef, why don't you do a lot of sweet stuff? Mm. You know, pastries and cakes are very precise. I can do them. <laughs> But I don't prefer them because yeah. I'm more of a sprinkle of this, yeah. more of that kind of guy. I okay. like to just throw things together, put things in, and I make recipes and veer from them every single time. Mm. So in this dish, we're gonna add some red onions, some yellow peppers. That's beautiful already. Yeah. I think that's my favorite part of like, you know, doing the show, just seeing all the colors come together. It's gorgeous. Yep. To this, I'm gonna also add some garlic and so mushrooms. Who would you make this dish for? This is a great date night dish. I know, great. with the wines yes. and all that coming yes. together. It's super fun. It's super easy to do. Um, and, and it's always a pleaser. It's all, everybody loves pasta. Yes. You can't go wrong with pasta, yes. you know? So I start off with, with these items. These, the three items I'll, I'll start with is the, the onions, uh -huh. the peppers, and, and we the get garlic. some garlic now. Yes. Okay. You, know, you gotta have your aromatics with the garlic. 
Garlic is life. Like I, I love garlic. And it's so good garlic for you. Garlic is life. Garlic it is, is life. the best thing for you, you know. And I like how you have to squish it down, and that's where you get out most of the flavor, most of the the the, the sense exactly. of what that is. When you with herbs, when you're dealing with herbs like basil or cilantro mm -hmm. and mint. What you do is you press it to release the flavor. Oh, you clap it. Exactly. <laughs> clap in, it together. I've in, seen someone do that. <laughs> exactly. In, in, in um, Cuba, actually, when they're making mojitos, they take the mint and they, yeah. they smash it and then they mull it because yeah. that releases the flavor. It wakes it up. Good. So, and another reason too why I smash it down is it's easier to chop. <laughs> easier to chop that way. Because so, it's all flat yeah. and it's, you just chop, chop, chop and you're good to go. So this is a great date night dish. First date or mm, kind of into the relationship? Which one you think? Can I tell you, if you're trying to be flirty and sexy and interesting, this is the kind of meal that you grab your wine with your sweet something mm -hmm. and you, you got the girlfriend sitting on the countertop or the boyfriend sitting on the countertop and y'all could be it. playing in the kitchen. Uh -huh. and, you know, this you is, got wine. You, got, you get some. <laughs> <laughs> Well, after the meal, if the meal's good. If the meal's good. <laughs> awesome. Make it to the meal and make it good. Make, make it to the meal first, right? <laughs> We're chopping up some of our spices and herbs. Of course, we got some red peppers. We have some, well, red onions, sorry, yes. some yellow peppers, and some garlic. What yes. do you need? What can I do? So we have our pan here. I'll let you pour the oil. Good. And we're using, of course, extra virgin olive oil. Olive you know oil. that's one of my favorites. Yeah, and of course I say because it's healthier. It's healthier. And it goes well with with, with European um, Mediterranean. That yes, that's perfect. Okay, good. Alright, let me just pop in our three, our first three ingredients. Oh yeah. Every time you hear that sound, you, you feel like a chef, right? You know Whether it's something good. Whether the food good. is good or it tastes bad, once you hear a sizzle, you're doing something all good. All in the kitchen. All <laughs> is well. And so as we sip our wine, of course, we said that we're gonna be cooking with this today. And that's because, tell me if I'm right, mm -hmm. wines kind of help enhance the flavors of food. Yeah. You can't use wine with every food no. though, right? No. And so talk to me a little bit about some of the foods that pair perfectly with wine in them, like shrimp, Correct. scampi, and yeah. what else? Lobster. Lobsters. Um, seafoods pair well with white wines. Okay. Um, and you find that meats, like the steaks and the pork, they pair well with, with red with wine. With red wine. And um, so what we have here, you want our pan is a little warm to it. You gotta mm -hmm. mix it all together. Nice. That smells good already. Good. At which point do we pour the wine in though? We're gonna once it gets a good bubble, you will okay. hear a good sizzle. Mm -hmm. We use the wine to basically deglaze the pan. Ah. And then we add our shrimp. Mm -hmm. Can you pass me? So we have those three little containers in the front there with. So seasoning. what do we have in these? What's this? This is our spice seasoning. That's like spice? Cajun spices. And okay. Because I know, you know, Bahamas, we like to have our spice. Yeah, I need pepper in my life. Exactly. So that's the Cajun spice. And what's this one? This is a mixture of granulated garlic. Uh huh. We have some basil, some dried basil, and oregano. Okay. And then this one. This one is the lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Okay. I can toss this in. Yep. There you healthy go. or? Healthy. So of course now we're just sautéing down our, our herbs and Perfect. we just sprinkled in our seasonings and now we're just gonna let them all cook together. And you smell you smell it starting that to... That smells so good. And it's just at the point where you're like, oh, it's too high? Yeah. That's what you That's, want it to okay. be. Okay. Because this is the point where you throw in your wine. Ah. Okay. And, and just a little bit of wine. So it kind of almost brings it down to a calm. Correct. 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 They're not going crazy in the pot anymore. No. They're now just bubbling yeah. and they're just... See, look at that. They're happy. They're like, okay, I see you. I feel you. Bring yeah. it on. <laughs> Pop in there about a two tablespoons of butter. Uh -huh. Well, the um, get your glass because the vegetables can't be the only ones drinking. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers to chef it <laughs> up. Cheers to chef it up. <laughs> so we put in some butter, two tablespoons of the butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At this point, we're... You have the wine cooking and simmering. You're actually cooking off the, the, the alcohol. So when you're actually, when you go to eat it. Hold on now. You have all the flavor. <laughs> but because you know, sometimes with the alcohol, like sometimes you go to restaurants and it's like a little bitter at the yeah. end. That's because they didn't cook it off. Okay. So you have to cook that off. That's why you need a high heat. Okay. And it will all, all of the flavor will stay with none of that bitter aftertaste. Yeah. 
this is gonna be a good shrimp scampi. Yes, yes, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. Definitely. Now I'm gonna start chopping up some mushrooms. And these are their silver dollar silver dollar mushrooms that we're gonna use. The silver dollar is great. It's easy. It takes in flavor amazingly yeah. well. And at this point where it's still simmering down, this is a good point to add your mushrooms. Okay, good. So we're using the silver dollar mushrooms here. And again, we can see that you're leaving on the stem. Yes. So our shrimp scampi is on the go. We're sauteing down our vegetables, some mushrooms, some yellow peppers, some red onions in there. Our water's boiling for the pasta. This is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Chef It Up, and we're whipping up today in the kitchen with Chef Called the perfect date dish, and that's shrimp scampi. So, of course, before we went to a break, we sauteed down our herbs and our spices. We got some yellow peppers in there, some red onions, some mushrooms, some garlic, and, of course, all of our spicy spices and our pasta has been boiling for a while now and so that's almost ready to go you're going to drain that off now yes yes all right drain perfect that off. perfect and, and how do you like your pasta do you like it more mushy i know some people like the one more firm or do we go for like what, what's al dente that's the firm one al dente is more firm okay al dente is more firm so this one is a bit this, this our pasta today is mm -hmm. going to be a, in, in a mixture of the two okay so we have we started our shrimp it's not it's not ready yet but we seasoned it up mm -hmm. and we're going to add it to our pot with some olive oil okay which you've already added so olive oil in a pan and you take your shrimp these are really really large ones <laughs> you take your shrimp and you just drop them in you know we do it big in the bahamas yeah all the time <laughs> it's just extra hair that's all <laughs> so of course we're now sauteing our sauteing shrimp. down our shrimp and you know that you, a lot of people say, well, how do I know when it's done? Yeah. When it's or, like pink or orange, it's done. That pretty peach color. That pretty, like a flamingo. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's what you're looking for. Yeah. And so we just let this simmer down. Um, so I have um, basil here. And I'm going to pick And what a are we going to do with them? I'm going to pick a few leaves. I love... The more herbs, the better for me. I just, yeah. you know, it's just... So why do you like shrimp scampi so much? Like, what is it about this dish that just gets you going? And what do you think our viewers and those who are at home cooking with us, what are they going to get from this meal? Because it's a simple dish, but it has such great flavor. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of times we just get... Sometimes we, we, we spend all day in the kitchen and you're eating the food and it's just like... But where's the flavor? Yeah. This, you know it's there. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not hard, it's quick, it's easy, um, and, it's, and it's healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, anytime you see me in the summer months, it's hot, I don't want to be in the kitchen killing myself out. You know, I, I literally yeah. want to be doing food that's fun and, and, and fast, mm -hmm. you know, to get back to the beach, get back to summer, Exactly, right? right? And keep your body looking like it as well. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Not too much fatty foods, all like calorie and starch exactly. and carbs and all that. And exactly. so I like that this is light, this is airy, this is fun. And of course, we're making it with wine. The same wine that we're drinking is what we're making our food with today. So that's, that, that, that's like cherry on top of exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> what we did just now, I don't know if you noticed, but we took the, we took the basil uh -huh. and we we stacked them about four or five leaves. We rolled them together like this. And you just quickly slice. Just slice. And Good. it gives you great, this is what it, you end up with. You can cut it a little smaller if you would like. Now all these herbs, like one of the things that we, I guess people like me who just cook at home, like, is this one of the things that we miss for most of our meals? Yeah. Because a lot of people cook, but I don't see a lot of people using thyme and no. cilantro and Not bay fresh. leaves and stuff like that. The no. fresh ones, right? That is the most important part. In, in, in my cooking, I think that is the most important part about the yeah. food. Yeah. Everything is fresh. And you can taste that. Yeah. You know, and I think a lot of times we are like, oh, I spent that extra $1.99. Dollar. For <laughs> some time. <laughs> When you're eating healthy, live foods, yeah. you can just feel it. Mm -hmm. You feel it in your body, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So and this looks good already. The combination of that peachy pink with the green, beautiful. Yeah, so this is this is almost done. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna rest this here, let that rest. Great, I'm gonna what just next? tidy up a little bit, and we're gonna put it all together. All right, so our meal is like pretty much almost done. You can see how simple and how fast that's been. All we do is we boil down our pasta, we sauteed um, our vegetables and our herbs for, for the shrimp scampi, sauteed down the shrimp scampi, tossed in some cilantro and some basil in there, and now we're almost done. I just want you to take a note of this plate. 
so you don't beautiful. see any brown leaves. You don't see burn green, the food. <laughs> lively food. Perfect. Okay, so our meal is done. The only thing we have here left to done it's is plate it together. Is to plate and taste. So you guys, this is Chef It Up. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us. The wine has certainly been the talk of the town today. We cooked with it, we've been drinking it as we cooked, and I can't wait to taste this meal, okay? So, give me some tomatoes. Alrighty, the small ones or the big ones? This one, this yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, why did I think that was a tomato? That's the wine. <laughs> See, you, I, I spilled in all kind of secrets today. Okay. And so I'm ending off with, with, with the tomatoes because I want it to, I don't want it to be dead. Okay. I want it to be alive, mm -hmm. right? And it's, I find when you're ending a meal, Having those fresh herbs, mm -hmm. those fresh ingredients, it just adds that amazing flavor that you just can't get, you know? Perfect. So, I don't usually eat tomatoes, but I'm gonna try it with this meal today. You don't? I, I don't like mushy foods. Oh, tomatoes are my my life. <laughs> really? What? I, I don't love like mushy tomatoes. foods. No tomato, no avocado. Oh. But I'm weird because I eat, I don't eat avocado but love guacamole. When you come to the restaurant the next time, ask for the spicy avocado salad. Okay, I'll try that next time. I'll make you a believer. Okay. I promise. Okay. I'm, so, I'm holding you to that. Yes. <laughs> so we took plum tomatoes today and we just cut them up, yeah. wash chop. And put them in our sauteed veggies. And we put them in our sauteed veggies. So okay. your veggies are already cooked. Mm -hmm. And we're just now adding the tomatoes to it. As and you, you say can we, see. We don't cook the tomatoes down because you wanted that fresh factor, right? Exactly. That crisp, crunchy factor. Remember now, we had we had wine in this, we had peppers in this, we had onions, mm -hmm. we had the mushrooms, the, the, mushrooms, uh -huh. the garlic. It's, this is a, look at this. The spices. Right? Look at that. So we're gonna let this get a little heat to it. Now mm -hmm. we're gonna add our shrimp. Oh, so the shrimp goes right there. Right there, it's all in there. I love that. Got and a little mix going let you, here. I'll let you stir that up. This is looking really beautiful. One thing I like about this dish, this is colorful. There's yellow, there's peach, there's white, there's green, there's a little bit of the brown from the sauce. This is beautiful. This looks really good. What I'm gonna do just to, if you, you know, a lot of times we're at, at home, you may have some pasta mishaps. If you ever wanna know what to do to loosen your pasta up, just grab some olive oil toss it inside it, and just toss your pasta around. And you want a pasta that has some bite, but mm -hmm. not overcooked. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And how long do you usually have to cook pasta to get it at that? I would say like 20 minutes. About 20 minutes, yeah. okay. 20 minutes, you know, <laughs> what they do sometimes in Italy is they toss the pasta on the on wall. On the wall and see if it sticks. Exactly, <laughs> if it sticks, it's done. If it's not, more time. Good. So what we'll do is add this pasta to this our dish. Beautiful. I'm gonna put a little more. Now let me show you the secret. Please, and I'm like, how do I mix this all up now? The secret. So this shrimp scampi is just moments away from being done and just moments away from being eaten. The secret is the tongue. Ah, yes, <laughs> that makes sense. And you just wanna gently mm. talk. Listen, I, I tell my chefs in my kitchen at the restaurant, I said, listen, imagine that this food, if you're a woman, imagine that this food is your lover, right? and you wanna gently toss. You don't wanna bust it up. You wanna <laughs> gently caress the food. Mm. So you toss it, you I toss like that it. analogy. Yeah. Treat it with love. Love. Treat it with some, like somebody who you care about, right? Yeah, you want to. Yeah. It's growing in your body. Yeah. And, and, and can I tell you it tastes better when you do that? Mm. Because it's not abused, right? And so we wanna toss our food, our, our shrimp and our herbs and our spices. The only thing we're gonna add to this now is some lemon. Ooh. And a little salt. Perfect. And we're done. This looks really good and it smells even better. You guys at home, if you've been cooking along with us, tell us where we can get all these ingredients from, like homegrown stuff. Well, obviously, you know, I got my, my herbs from my garden, but you can get them from Super Value, you can get them from your local grocer, um, wherever you go, you mm -hmm. can get them. Um, I, I often tell my, my clients and my friends and my family, you can substitute this for scallops. Ah. Oh, you can substitute this for- I never thought about even that. Even lobster, lobsters in season, you got your, your grammy or your mom sent you some lobster from the island. Lobster would be great with this, yeah. you know? And you can do the same thing with just lobster. The cook time will be much less because mm -hmm. lobster takes no time at all to cook. And, and you just put it together, like, look at that. 
A lot of people don't think that when you have pasta, you either use like a white sauce or red sauce. We haven't There's used any. No sauce. But it's still succulent. Exactly. It's still, and it's not is, sticky. No. This, the sauce is the white wine, the olive oil, the butter, and the spices. Ah. That's all you need. And this is a per like this is perfect summer food. So next, all we gotta do is plate this bad boy and we'll be good to go. So here's I'll, the I'll save that. Here's the secret, guys. You, you're cooking pasta, you wanna be sexy, your friends are in the kitchen. It's date and night. you're like, how do I get all this pasta without going all over the place, <laughs> right? You take your tongue and you twist and you lift. Nice, tricks. And you put. Ew. Right, and you do that again. Let's get some shrimp. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All that shrimp's gonna come in the end though. Nice. And you lift. Cool. You may have some stragglers, but that's okay. Yeah. Super hot. I'm ready to taste. I don't know about you guys. I yeah. hope you're at home cooking along with us, and I hope you're dishing up your meal right now. We have one more thing. We're getting thing. ready to bite in. One more thing to add before we're all done. All righty. We take some more of our basil. Yes, you really do love your fresh herbs and spices. Can I tell you that... <laughs> In, in our culture, I find that that is the only thing about Bahamian culture that I don't like. Yeah. We don't use herbs as much as we should. Mm. And not even because we don't, we, you have to buy them from the store, you can grow them. Yeah. They're super easy to mm -hmm. grow. I mean, like when I, at the restaurant, it was just one of those things that was just happenstance. Mm. I went to the store and I saw they had the plants of herbs and I was like, oh, I want them. And I went back and there were no more plants. Mm. And so I said, well, they have seeds. So I bought some seeds. I just pulled them together in the in, in, in my inside. Yeah. And when it had a little spot, I put them on the outside. Oh, nice. And now I have a whole bush. I have basil, I have rosemary, I have cilantro, and it's it's I love it, you know, and it's nothing better yeah. than fresh. And herbs. you can save a few bucks when you go to the food so you don't have to buy it because you have it right in your backyard. Exactly. You have yeah. some salt and some pepper. And the final bit, cheese. So, you gotta have cheese, guys. It's pasta. You gotta have Come cheese. On. I didn't put it inside the dish, but I'm gonna put it all uh, over the top. No, that's what you're really trying to do. <laughs> you are really trying to do it to me today. All over the and top. I love, like I love butter, I love cheese. Like if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it. That's what like, I just did. I'm gonna use it. I can't even see the pasta anymore. <laughs> no, it's just, it's the cheese. Well, it's not mixed in, so we had to go heavy yeah. on the top. And I'll let you sample. Time to taste. Please. Ooh. This is just the moment I've been waiting on. And so let's see. I should have gotten a knife. Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, guys, moment of truth. Our shrimp scampi. Let's see. Mmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm eating it on my hand. <laughs> that's good. This is so refreshing, so light. That pasta is perfectly done. It is perfectly it's done. It's not too mushy, it's not too hard. The herbs and spices in there can taste the onion, yeah. the garlic. It's just right. The red peppers, the yellow peppers, everything tastes beautiful. This is great. Guys, you gotta try this at home. This is so good. I hope you are trying this at home. Mmm. And the good thing is, this is one of those meals that it's so simple, but your family, mm -hmm. they will be in heaven. They will literally be in heaven when they eat this. I think kids would like this dish as well because it. it's filled with shrimp, it's, filled it's with colorful, shrimp. it's healthy, but still, you know, it's flavorful mm -hmm. and powerful in your mouth. This is amazing. So question, if I were to make this for a guy, first date, you think we'd have a second? I'm sure, and a third, <laughs> and it, a fourth. <laughs> if, it, if it comes out like this, definitely. <laughs> Let me just get some shrimp in there. Yeah, mm. it's gonna be good. Do you think a guy would not come back for this? If only this? He may, come leave, back. he may leave you and have just this. <laughs> After I whip this up, you better come back. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good. Chef Horatio, where can we find you? Well, you can find me on Facebook as always, as well as my email. And I'm also on Instagram, Horatio Alexander Caters. Mmm, this is good. Shrimp, and this is, is this your version or did you like take this recipe from somewhere, you put this together? This is my version. Mm. I am um, added the cilantro and the and the basil and the spices. It, we put a, you know, obviously in the Bahamas, we like more seasoning. Mm -hmm. We like things saltier than the average bear. I like the fact that we didn't cook in 
the, the cheese, tomato, no. no other tomato. No. I like that. I, because I was, look, it's actually cooked. It's cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know if you can see this at home, guys, but you saw we put that tomato inside there. This is like done. And yeah. it doesn't need much. And I, I, I'm always talking about not overcooking food. Mm -hmm. This is done. You know, in, in, um, in Europe, they respect the food, right? And we should adopt that. That, that philosophy of, of respecting the food and making sure that we get all the mm -hmm. best bits of flavor. Um, and this is how you do it, you know? Let's take it, let's do our best with it, let's not abuse it. You know, you don't have to overcook it to make it good. Mm -hmm. This is amazing, and I hope you try this, I hope you like the recipes, and uh, we'll see you soon. Chef Horatio, <sighs> you have tired out of my mouth for the day. We gotta do another cheers. 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 <laughs> this has been amazing, and this white wine pairs Perfectly. Yeah, it really does. This pairs, the butteriness of it, the butteriness from this pairs perfectly. Thank you so much for You're filling my belly today. <laughs> I am going to finish this shrimp scampi, you guys. Thank you so much for watching with us. This has been Chef It Up. See you next time. Cheers to you guys. <laughs>